What up, Dough Connors? Four out of the nine upcoming EZAs have been revealed in terms of what they do. In this video, we're going to cover the three sub EZAs from the UI Extreme Z Battle event, as those have been currently revealed, along with the LRB, we, but we already know that from the Dokkan Now presentation. We're still waiting on these five units right here. So in the meantime, I will be checking Twitter to see if any new information drops. But let's just go ahead and talk about these three units. This is going to be a long video anyway, if I were to do them all at once. So it's probably better that we break this up. Starting with the AGL God Goku. So this unit with this EZA has become an all types leader key plus 380%. Greatly raises attack permanently, causes supreme damage to the enemy. I was really hoping they would do a defense boost here, but all right. Key plus two plus an uh, key plus two in attack and defense plus 120. Attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. Performs an additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 59% or above. Attack and defense plus 10% up to 50 and chance to perform a critical hit plus 6% up to 30% with each attack received. So that is the passive for the God Goku AGL. No defense, sadly. I mean, there is defense on the passive, but in terms of any sort of like defense related abilities, there's no dodge, there's no guard, there's no damage reduction, nothing. So this is going to be a pretty one dimensional character. So I feel like this is probably going to be the weakest of the bunch, but let me know in the comments how you guys would rate this unit's EZA on a scale of one to 10. Moving on now. We've got the STR God Goku, my pick to be the best of the bunch. We still haven't seen the other five that are remaining, as I said, but let's see how this unit does. Because of that multiplicative super, I feel like this unit has what it takes to be really, really good. So let's see. Same leader skill as before, all types 80%. Causes supreme damage, raises attack and defense by 50% for three turns. There you go. So before it was a three turn window. Now it's, uh, no, well, no, it was a three turn window with 30%. Now it's gone up by 50 or gone up to 50. I thought it was going to be either one of these two. Like, they either increase the turn duration or they increase the stat buff, and they're increasing the stat buff here, which is cool. So 50%, that's going to make him really, really beefy. D plus 2, attack and defense plus 120. Attack and defense plus 80 when performing a super attack. Performs an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 59% or above. Attack and defense plus 10% up to 50% with each attack performed and reduces damage received by 6% up to 30 with each attack received. So if you're wondering why the, the font is a little bit different, I had to throw in the little amendment there because uh, just mistranslation. Um, but that is that is looking really good. Damage reduction along with a multiplicative super is going to make this guy really, really good. Plus, with each attack performed, you know, with you launching one attack, one super attack, possibly a second one, maybe even a third one, depending on your hit potential, this guy's going to be gaining some stats mighty fast and damage reduction. This is awesome. This is a really good one. And he's got first awakened link. This is like the big bad bosses link, kind of very loosely, but for like Bardock, Piccolo's and Goku's. So this is actually really cool. I like this. Let me know in the comments how you guys would rate the Super Saiyan God Goku EZA. Now moving on to the final of the bunch, which is the STR Blue Goku. This is also part of the bunch because it uses the same Dokkan Awakening metal. Uh, from the Ultra Instinct Goku event. So that's why it's here. This is pretty much the only Future Saga category Goku. So a lot of hope riding on this one. Because like if you look at the, the category, there's just nothing going on with Goku. Like you don't even see any characters here that are Gokus. Like we got Goku Blacks, yeah. But there are no Gokus here. Literally the only one is the STR Goku Blue. So this guy has to be good. Let's see if he delivers. Attack and D, or sorry, all types 80%. Raises attack and defense for one turn. Cause supreme damage. Okay, there's a start. He plus three, attack and defense plus 150, already stronger than the other two. Attack and defense plus 50 when performing a super attack. When HP is 50% or above, performs an additional attack, which has a medium chance to become a super attack and attack and defense plus 30% and chance to perform a critical hit plus 30%. That is, that is good. You get additional and critical in here. Okay. When there are two or more enemies, attack and defense plus 70% and chance to perform a critical hit plus 20%. Okay, I mean, you know, they're, they're kind of giving him more of a jack-of-all-trades kind of setup here, but when you're facing two or more enemies, you're probably doing something more along the lines of, like, Super Battle Road. This guy doesn't really serve a function on Super Battle Road with his current skill set. He's temporarily stacking, he's not stunning, he's not sealing, and he doesn't have any guard or anything, so unless you're putting all of your eggs into the dodge basket, which you probably should, considering the fact that he's got additional and critical in his passive already, I don't really see um, much use for this guy other than like just being a serviceable third string or something like that. So I'm not too high on this one, um, but that's just, you know, early impression. Of course, we will reserve our final judgments until we actually use them. But let me know in the comments how you guys would rate this EZA on a scale of one to 10. 
So I think out of the three, I'm most happy with the STR. God, Goku, that one's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and check back on Minato. By the way, shout out to Minato. Follow him on Twitter. He was the one who dropped the uh, the translations for the EZAs. Uh, nothing on Minato yet. And for the official Dokkan Twitter, uh, they just... No, they didn't drop anything. Actually, wait, why is this coming back? Okay, I, I think my I think my Twitter's bugging out right now. So, uh, yeah, there is no uh, information on any EZAs further. It's just going to be these three for right now, which is probably for the best. Once again, let me just remind you on what the LRB we can do, because you guys might have forgotten. Super STR key plus four, 120%, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes Colossal, and recovers 10% health. For the 18 key, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes Mega Colossal, and recovers 15% health. Key plus seven, attack and defense plus 150, medium chance to perform a critical hit, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70%, and high chance to perform or high chance to evade enemies attack, including super attack, for seven turns after receiving an attack. Launches an additional attack if HP is 70% or less when attacking. So the thing about this unit is that a lot of people are sort of hoping that there's going to be another unit releasing sometime soon that helps sort of supplement this character. This unit has some promising stats and abilities and whatnot, but in terms of overall effectiveness on some of the endgame content, I think some people are a little bit concerned and understandably so. So I feel like some people are hoping that maybe the Weeses might bring out something that could ultimately help this Beerus and Weese, or perhaps, I don't know, something moving forward. I don't expect a whole lot from these easy as I'm just going to be honest with you, because based on the sort of metals that these units utilize to Dokkan Awaken, that is sort of an indication on what sort of, I guess, caliber EZA the units could receive. In general, counter units don't receive the greatest of uh, justice when it comes to EZAs. So that being said, also, along with the Int Beers being another nuking unit, nuking units don't really also have the greatest abilities. Their main function is to be a nuking lead to enable things like punching bag events or, you know, certain stages where you're trying to use, you know, an all-in-one attack. So in general, I'm going to keep uh, my expectations fairly low here. I do really hope that this Vegeta Bulma can be good, but we got to really just think about the fact that they don't really do too well with these types of units. So I wouldn't uh, get my hopes up too much. The God Goku that did win this so far has been the STR one. I think that's pretty clear. Um, the Ultra, these, uh, the Universe 7 character, I think it's also a big bummer. If you do build him full dodge, I feel like, you know, he's going to be a little bit better because at least he has the, the additional taken care of in there, the critical is taken care of in there, but he's got no dodge. So if you can just give him full dodge, and since he's an AGL, um, they're only going to be additionals. Uh, you're only going to be getting a base five additional. The critical is not going to be uh, utilized there. So I think that he actually can be of some use, but that's very, very generous. So yeah, a little, uh, little lukewarm on him, but I'm happy. This guy got a good easy eye, so I'll take it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let in the comments, what do you think about these three EZAs? Are you excited about any of them? How are you planning on building these units? Do you have them? And are you looking forward to any of the other remaining EZAs that are coming up? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know if you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly.